Hello folks and welcome back to Core Farm. Here we are once again born the John Deere from the Deer ship. Also we've gone and pretty much do a little demonstration on a brand new beta we've got. It's the a Chrome one's one of those big high density baiters and hopefully this one will be alright for us so we've got these two on lease for us. We paid four grand a grand each per day so we've got this until the end of the month so this week and next week so around the week not around the day but you know what I mean but yeah this is because we've got a lot of straw to do we're not we actually get this done when we started today I don't know there's a few things I want to do for one we got our rapeseed canoe oil or canoe the harvest to do nope, not there and yes yeah, so we got was it 59 and 109. In theory, it should take us that long to do, but you never know sometimes how long it'll take. Also, there's the. what's it? 22 29 slice contracts. I want to get those done. Do some tenant contracts. Do some hay contracts. My bad. And the reason for being doing that is I want to get our money up as much as possible because I've got some plans depends on how well the harvest goes this year we may get some new equipment coming in for the new year yeah sort of looking out there sort of, sort of do miss like greasy fields of wheat or whatever branches of grass and plow fields that make see grass and crops in the ground so one thing I'll do, 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 do is turn it off. That's the thing, we've got the forge pickup. Or forge wagon. Yeah, we can use that for our work. However, it would be so many trips, it would be just not worth it. So, first of all, I want to check on our silage. That'll be ready this week, by the end of the week, so... That's good. But yeah, like the horsepower requirement on this beta is 245. After look at our own equipment, the 830 could do it with a slight bigger engine. It's going up. Going up little slopes now, worrying about. Which I don't know why we went this way. I'm going to go the other way. Also, we can have the thing, I say, when we may purchase some more fields and that, may again, it's all skeptical, hypothetical. I'm tempted to get like 106. See, I'm thinking, if we get. 106. Oh. I won't do the fill beans this year. These two could be just our grass fields. So what we can do is get these cultivated up. I know what was it was in the last episode we put grass in here, but yeah, I'm just thinking, do we really need this much silage? May do it for this year, just do a stockpile of silage and whack it into the silo. But in actual reality, we don't need to have this much silage or this much grass to get silage. So, yeah, that's an option for us. Also, one thing I'm going to be doing is sell our landy. I just don't really need it. Yeah, sometimes we'll use it. But I prefer to sell the dandy. Because how much we'll get for that? 40 
grand. Yeah, I'll say about 40 grand all in all, by the end of it. Once we've done a little bit of maintenance and all that good stuff on it. Just because we're not using it, and it's extra money we can have. And I'd rather have 10 this grand send this, compared to something like, I don't know, ham to sell, um, what's it, 930. Because even if we do retire the 930, we still use that just tractor to just drive around with, so. But anyway, so that is there. Which I may do a little quick test on in a sec, so. And these do huge bells. I got a custom model. I could do some really super dense bells, so. Also, the pickup seems decent. That's quite big. Obviously, this should manage just fine doing it. Yeah, 14 miles an hour. That's good. How will it manage these? Actually, I'm not sure if it's because of the tracks on the tower bar in here. Yeah, how big are these bells going to be? Huge bells. These are some super dense bells we're getting. As well as the tracks, well, as I get from here, the tracks are fine controls now. I think what about if we do POV the cab? If we keep the middle of the bonnet in line with the middle of the pile. And you what? I think that. Yeah, that does it. You know what? I think this is the one we're going to go with. Let's get it unloaded. There we go. Just, yeah, move out of the way. 18,000 litres. And what's that in comparison to? We drive down here. Because there are some super dense bells. So what's that? That's 9,000, right? Doubles the size. The double the density in that, so... You know what? I like this. The Chrome Big Pack 1290 HDP VC. It's in high density something VC. I've got absolutely no clue. But yeah, we got this for two weeks and that's to do with the end of the month. Now, it's time to do the harvest on 59 and 109. So what we'll do is 59. And then I think to get to 109. Can we go up and around? Yes, we can. So, yep, just hop through here. Or there's an option of going around down here. Up through there, so. A couple of options for us, so. What? Let's get it started. Unfold the harvester. Got everything here ready. is on. Turn it on, then it's all up. Everything is fine. There we go. And we are harvesting our canola. And 
house here. Yeah, we've got to be getting good news from, so we're going to have tons of straw, and that's going to be another thing. I think at the moment we've got like 3 million litres of straw, so really, we should have to set it. Especially with no idea how much we can get from these. Absolutely no clue whatsoever. to sell Canuda on that. So Canuda currently it's going for about three grand. But we can get ooh thirty eight hundred if we wait just a little bit longer. Do we say heck it set it now or wait till like November time? Well I think we just wait till November. And straw best time to sell is December. Currently about 103 quid on average it is, 102. Peak of 104 though off 96 quid. Again, wait just a few months till December. So that moment is rock on price because everyone's harvesting so... And of course that's when it's going to be people's going to want to sell the straw and there's quite demand for it so... Yeah, just wait a little bit longer. Get an extra 50% in value. And yeah, 2.9 million litres of straw. I think most of that's just due from the contracts. Yeah, I think, yeah, this is our first crop of the year we're doing. If I'm not mistaken, so. Well, they didn't see last episode was our first crop, but. We leave. We're gonna get a lot of money from the straw. If it's three million, that's what three hundred grand. If we said now, potentially four hundred fifty grand in straw by the end of the year. Or so and that's what makes so use harvesting contracts worth doing. It's just straw. It's really valuable. So, Aussie at the moment, that's the market. That's the economy we're in. Who knows, a couple of months, but I can sell, everything may crash and rock bottom. That's the first field done, so let's go and unload this. So we've got how much? About 21,000 a year, so yeah, not too bad. Also, I was thinking, whilst I was doing harvesting, why not let's get the windrow out and try to windrow as much as we can? So, Aussie, a 10 meter header. So these gaps would be, what, 5 metres between? Because a header is 
10.8 meters, so let's say 11. So, 5.5 meters each spread. And our wind rower, was it 17 meters, the wind rower? So, no, 15. Uh, if it's slightly longer, slightly an extra two meters longer, we perhaps could do three swaths in one go. But in two swaths, again, a little bit of extra work, yes. But what it would mean is just slightly easier with the bait in. So I'll tie this up now as well, especially along the bottom that bit there. Yeah, make it that go, try to swap it. Really should have put this on the header trailer, but what? We'll squeeze out with the header. There we go. I know if that was a bit more realistic, that was absolutely destroyed. That hedge right there. And actually, like, last couple of days, we can sort of find oxygen Dave in that, see what his plan is for updates now. Um, we do have access to sand. This is our field. What? What's going on here? Oh, come on. Wait a minute. What's going on there? See, so yeah, that this bit here, we don't own. Yes, yeah, so yes, yeah, so you can do uh, the rate harvest owned by Mr. Ewing. And this is us, so. I need to speak to Mr. Ewing in a sec. And find out about this because this is our field. This is our field. There's no boundary, there's no. Let's say if there was a divider here, a hedgerow, or even let's say a patch of grass, something that's distinct between those fields, then. Yeah. We'll, go, we'll get back to about the update about Oxygen David in a sec, but. Yeah, I need to speak to Mr. Ewan in a sec. Alright, so managed to establish um, what's going on here, so... Actually, there, that part doesn't ain't owned by us, so uh, for whatever reason. However, managed to get in contact, and we now have access to that. Oh, uh, don't, don't let me say how, but... Yeah, that's weird, that was. But it means... Obviously, technically this bit we don't own. However, at least for this year, we are allowed to obviously harvest it because it's canola as part of our field in that. Obviously, yeah, that's the Now we're on the other land, so... Is that, is that fine line, is that boundary, is like... Has it really been established correctly, I think? If I'd say. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Got it sorted, so. But yeah, as I was saying about the update, well, it's not so much an update, it's more of like following Oxygen Davis Facebook group, people making comments about the map. Both good and bad. Yeah, there are, there are always going to be good and bad comments. Bad ones I've seen mainly is just is again people whinging, moaning. If I'd use it, if I'd use words, I'll say whinging and whining. Actually, I'm looked over here. Is there a collectible over here? I don't think I've looked over this area. But yeah, it's sort of hearing people just saying all like the hedgerows and all that situation. Obviously, get outside, sort of, sort. Of, Role play sort of aspect. I'm trying to go with this series a little bit. Um, there's no collisions on those. Um, what's it? Hedges. So you, you can drive straight through them and just work the land. 
However, yeah, I know people don't want that. They sort of want to like, merge the fields now, which I do get. Who get me wrong? I am a sucker for a good old mega field, as seen on Bally Spring and No Man's Land, especially No Man's Land, where I think we in the process of creating a third mega field. I have done and recorded that episode, but oh uh, yeah, that series at the moment stressed me out a bit. But that's more for a chat on that series. When I get the next episode out, the one afterwards, we're going to have a bit of a discussion. A bit of a rant, just yeah, frustrating with the pallet situation. Of basically, it's become a production manager simulator almost, and try to use like also the pallet stuff in that, buy like her shoba and a couple of other models, like the rumber van. Just none of it seems to be working as well. You'll see when I did Silver Run. But yeah, just a pallet situation, just ugh. But anyways, as I was saying, obviously Oxford David has made it adamantly clear he ain't changing hedgerows. Even if he wants to do something like with by Spring, by Irish Corner and that, what they've done on that map, of where you can remove the hedges, that involves a groundwork rebuild. Rebuild from the ground up, add most likely, certainly. Now, if I had to guess for myself, I'm not a map maker or anything, but if I had to guess, something like that would require a brand new game save, and not many people want that. So, yeah, auction, Oxy has said he ain't gonna do that, which I appreciate that. Obviously, there's gonna be the update coming with the light lighting tweaking and that, so we may see that within the next week or two. Giant Slug just back in office testing again, so who knows on that part, but yeah, that's, that's the thing I don't get is obviously, fair enough, critique a map, not a problem with an issue of that. Well, ring of mods in general, critiquing, it's not an issue. It's good when it's done right and respectably. But then again, it falls on back onto the whole dance boy situation. I'm glad he's returned to modding when he does. Obviously, he said he ain't returning back full time as he's done before, but when he feels like it, he will come back and do modding, which I'm glad he's doing personally. The Lancy Boy is one of those modders where I respect all modders, regardless of what they do, where I use them or not, wherever I like them or not. Trust me, there are some mods that I don't like, but I always appreciate where that goes into it because I don't have the first clue I have had to use Blender and all that. I'm sure there's plenty of YouTube videos and that. And the pharmacy modding community you can help with modding. Got a decent PC that can handle it. Currently, I got a 3080 Ti, Asus Strix with a Ryzen. Oh, it's not the new, not the current AM5 platform, it's AM4, was it? Ryzen 7, Ryzen 5 7950X. Yeah, or Ryzen 7, 7950X. It's the top end AM4 one, that's what I can remember to my head. So, yeah, if I would do more than that, PC is more than capable of handling that. But, yeah, I won't stop my thing. Don't, I don't have the time for it. Simply put. But, yeah, what was I on about ranted about? Oh, I can't remember. But anyways, we'll get his hand. I'll see you folks once we're done with this.
there we go. That is the harvest done. The last harvest of the year has been completed. And oh boy, just reflect on it. It's been a hectic year of harvesting, especially with the contracts and that, so. But I'm glad we've done it, so. Let's go and unload the final load. And yep, we did have to pay an extra hour of leasing. Perhaps if we didn't go and repair the combine and that. So I wasn't sure if it was a header or the combine that was slightly worn more. Because I did want to have a yield reduction. So I think it's we hit 30, either 25 or 33% where you start seeing some year reduction. I don't think it's much. However, any year reduction is valuable. But I think actually it turned out to be able to combine. But that's the thing. This is done 430 hours already. And still going strong. Hasn't missed a beat. But anyways, time to return the header. And man, 11 hours we've done that on the header this year. So, in leasing, that is what? Let's say 30 and a bit grand. Let's say 15 grand. Compared to how much would it cost us normally? Sixty-three grand. So you know what? I'm in a rush to purchase a header. Uh, nothing interesting in the used market. So, anyways, we'll go and return those. Header trader didn't really use that too much. But yeah, just look at that. I am glad we're done the harvesting. So. You know what? Let's grab a thumbnail here. Oh, that may be the thumbnail or something else. I've got to get a thumbnail whilst harvesting, but. Anyways, 41,000 litres. And 930. Ah, uh, these again repairing. 70% damage. Come on. That's the thing, like, that's what I'm all about, it's... We're having to repair it. Let's say if, let's say if we do a mowing session, or do a few... Couple of contracts, let's say if we did... Those two and that. Um, I should want to accept that one as well. What's I'm on the page. It's, yeah, like, I've repaired multiple times in that in a year. Watch multiple times in a month, and it's like six grand it is. So, even though this is good for holding, but also at the same time, it ain't really good for holding. There's now to go through the grass field here for Mr. Irwin, and he has like struggling for speed. I just want to see how much would it be cost to repair this and that. There we go, up speed now, sort of. But yeah, 41,000 litres of canoe though. That's 120 grand if we sell it now. Or if we wait a little bit longer, we can get towards 150 grand, so. And that three grand does make a huge difference. Especially with what we're to do now. Actually, how's our horses doing? Have I rode them yet today? Yep. Yep, that's good. That is. Horse manure. That's the thing, that's also another thing I've noticed. It's like. Little details Auction Davis added onto this map is absolutely stunning. And I only just figured out what the old manure situation with the cows. It's like FS19 where the manure is actually in the pen. Obviously, so used to it in FS22 with having the manure heap like a silo. Yeah. 
have a look. Here, so... Nearly a thousand years of Minoan. And how much sir have we got? 1300 years of Surrey, so... Actually as well, how much are they worth? Now they'll be down here. But do, 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 do. 900 quid for a thousand years. So you know what? That ain't half bad actually. At the Surrey Yards. Yeah, so again. Come well sports towards January rather than December now. But that gets yeah, a couple of extra grand. And it, again, it's all stables, it all sacks up in that, at the end of the day. Let's go and see how much the maintenance cost is on this. So, we'll see if the other traders next year when we do another contract involving this works, but yeah, I ain't gonna refuel it, so if we sell it, eh, I don't want to give it a full tank of fuel. But yeah, you know what? I may say we're gonna get a new big tractor from the new year now, so a brand new one. So where do I put that toolbox to? There we go. Let's get some spanners out and that and repair this. Eight and a half grand. Come on. You know what? We're saying this. It's just too damn expensive. It is really too damn expensive. So I'm going to get to the dealership and we're going to sell this. And there we go, at the dealership, and yeah. Perhaps we should hold it sooner, or s him and I'm in over the last month or two. But yeah, that has finally hit the straw. So you know what? We'll get a fresh coat of paint. It's going to be slightly worth it. Get a couple of extra grand from that, so... Now we're at 407 grand, so we're looking at around a quarter of a mil for a brand new tractor. So, Ozzy, I'm not looking for used market. Unless it's like a quick, cheap discount, you know, in the used market, then yeah, maybe. But, so yeah, large tractors. Haven't a look. So there's an option for a case that's on the upper end of slightly over a budget of 300 grand because we're looking about 250 to 280 ish for something that could do like 350 horsepower and that could do 417. If you go 400 horsepower ish, we're into over 325 region, I think. That's the one we just had. I actually get the same one then for 294. Alright. What a fence. Even the less modern Varios. That's three, three, two, nine for that. That's an extra ten grand almost compared to the John, not John Deere, um, the class in price. That'd be good to have, but it's just so damn expensive. That's the one we're borrowing from the dealership at the moment. Yeah. 
So if you like these, like that, 325 horsepower tractor for 160 grand. Yeah, it's a swivel tractor now. If you want everything, green star and that. Just getting a rough spec of that. What do we want flotation tires? No. Even if something like that we're looking. That's a good deal, but yeah, really something like I it's gonna be I think a Massey or a New Holland, I think. For that three hundred grand. Two ninety for three hundred and eighty, so I think in fairness that's a better value. What tires and weight. Warren signs and that. Yeah. You can customize the paint job, so Alright, that's, that's our top contender. 293 for a 308 horsepower tractor. <coughs> and if I say... Yeah. For New Holland, again, it's breaking that 300 grand mark. Yeah. 287, so you know what? I think it's going to be the Massey. Two and a half grand for five horsepower. I think that's what we'll go with, actually. So, yeah, 280 for that. Also, the Bader, how much was that? Because I want to have a look at. No, not Forge Wagons. Actually, what's on here? The TARDIS. That one. Reasonably, it's reasonable now, because we'll use that for our size work. 50,000 litres at 52 grand. Compared to that, so. Well, no, didn't really click it off. So yeah, that's got size additive, so does that? Yeah, it does. Hang on a minute, how much is our... Do, 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 do? I think we do that as well. I think, you know what, we'll do that as well. Upgrade that. For when we do size work and that. And again, does the 830 come with a front loader option? So also thinking about loading the bells in that. Once I think heavy-ish and the 650, I don't think it'll quite cut it. So if I have a look, that's that one there. Oh no, it doesn't have a front loader option though on that. Like any of these. The 4755 does. That's got its own special front loader option. Oh, now I'm thinking, <laughs> yeah, this is dangerous, I know. Front linkage system and all that. 228 horsepower. Seventy thirty. Fenders, yeah. Front hydraulic. Hundred and twenty seven grand flats. I think I like that better, the 7030 premium. And I have a front loader option. Ooh, Lamborghinis. Now this has got my attention. <laughs> Ooh. 
Do we get a Lamborghini? It's not quite the R8 that Clarkson's got, but... Or if we go with another Massey. I never already got one. Well, we'll have one, but it's looking at engines. Yes, yeah, there's extra money in that. Ooh. I've got to think about that. So, yeah. Whilst I was aiming on there, I think. Let's go and try swaths on this, see how that does. Because we still need three tractors on the farm to do everything we need. Again, gone the wrong way. We're not doing grass. That's my default going to. But yeah, I'm thinking again, doing a quick math in my head. For a another front loader tractor. That combined with our new big tractor, the Baylor, I didn't check the Baylor price. Let's say it was like 280 for the tr tractor, right? The Baylor. Ooh. 480, 430, 435. So that. Yeah, we're gonna get another zone, anyways. But again, I want to minimise how much of a loan we take out. But yeah, so if we say head down here... So I'll test this out, see how good it is, how... So there we go, there we go. Let's put it all into a swath. So yeah, two rows at a time. You know what that I can manage and happy with. Just makes a lot bigger work now. We're desperate for that for us, so or is it even worth doing, really? Is it for doing all the fields? I don't think I don't think it'll take us too long to do, but will it be worth it? Especially if I keep on missing stuff now. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. So if we do one, two, do the next three sections up here. Just keep it perfectly straight. But then we've got to test the beta as well, see if we can actually work with it. So once we've done this section here. And yeah, I know we're using the 650. It manages it fine in that, but it is definitely set to be a bit squirrely on this. But I think that's more to do with the size of the swaths than anything else, so. Slight correction there. Try to get a lot of misbits on the edge. On our left. There we go. So anyways, let's give that a shot now. Fold it all up in that. Whack it over here. And now, let's just test the beater in that. And yeah, ooh, needs plowing. Is it just that field that needs plowing? That so needs plowing on. So yes, yeah, just fifty-seven needs plowing. And lime. Oh no, not lime. But there's also something we need it afterwards, anyways. After. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think this episode's been interesting. It's been a fourth episode. Bit of a rant now. 
nothing, nothing more of a good old rant. But yeah, if I stick into the cab option, it's managing to find that on the tracks. And that's why, because I haven't played over the damn thing. Helps if you lower your implements, folks. Just a little word of advice there. So now, let's try it again. There we go. Now we're picking up the bells. It's a bit of a bumpy ride. And yeah, it's making light work of it. But I want to judge it when we come back on the other end. Just to see how good the quality of this is. Again, this is a good little test for us, so... There we go. A couple of little bits there where I had to make the corrections where it was all a bit skew -wifty. And that's the thing with the wind rower, we're susceptible of it being squirrely, squirrely lines and that. Alright, be good if I had a little front linkage wind rower. Of course, a PTO and that power. And at that point, you're requiring high horsepower tractors and that. There we go. Not too bad. You know what? I'm still think adamant on sticking to with just doing the seagull with ropes. I think, yeah. Sorry about that. Ooh, my voice was coming there. But yeah, so it makes as I was saying. What was I saying? Oh yeah, about think, yeah, just do a time lapse of this, I think. Or actually, oh again. One more idea I've got is see how much we're getting per like line we're doing so we'll do this one here on our left because we do even want to bother with a bailer in that but well, starting out roughly 12,000 because obviously with the whole forge wagon if we say we just do it ourselves with the forge wagon So six thousand plus seven thousand. We'll say about twelve and a half thousand. So that's three trips currently for the bit. Or if you get the bigger one, that's four lines it'll do. And also you'll get smaller and smaller and smaller, and this is our biggest field, so... Actually... I think, you know, again, if we do that... But again, I want to do side, like, TMR and that, and... And then as well... Obviously... It'll be least in that. We'll just make a bunch of TMR. And then perhaps we can beat it, because I know we can get TMR bells. Now the TMR makes sense, I think, on that part. Oh, uh, that's the thing, that's all the ideas going through my head, but I think, you know what? We'll stick to the beating, we'll at least do this field, and then um, I think that's where we'll leave it for today.
that is the bailing on this field at least completed and that's the worst field to do so the other ones are going to be easier to do less bells to handle and deal with but yeah I just want to get these stacked up there we go something like that just keep on strapping down as we go along I uh, might as well just actually leave the engine running on this so yeah, we've got the two other type of bells we use with the Massey... Was it the Massey Ferguson one we was using? Okay, that one there... Needs to be moved with the loader. There we go. There we go, I just want to unload this. And I'll just whack that like so. But yeah, that is a lot of bells we've got. And currently that is 81,000 litres. And we've got another one, two, three, four, five, six. I've had to guess, but well, not guess. Let's look. I'm <laughs> sorry, so just guess one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that is what two hundred, two forty, minus twenty-four, two sixteen. So just on this field alone. About 300,000 years of straw. Oops, let's pick that up. So, yeah, not too bad for a little hole there. 300,000 years of straw. Sounds about right for what we've been doing when we do the contracts and compared to the other fields. But the other fields, we've got like about 200 ish thousand years, 175 here and there. On fields that are slightly smaller than this, so. Fields like all you didn't do one level was in a straw field, but things like 92 and that, 92, four and that, yeah, four was the bigger one, four and 14, similar, about half the size, and it's about 170 ish. They're about half the size, I would say, of this. So. Yeah, French Files of the Years does sound about right. And 59 out of 109. I'll say it's... I'll say we'll get about another 80,000 years from that new two fields combined, so... Yeah, I'll say it's slightly bigger than this one, I would say. But yeah, I am glad we've made this decision. Of demoing the beater net. However, something has just dawned on to me is doing these contracts. Because we need to mow, right? The mowers, they require 230 horsepower, so technically, this can do it. The 830 at 235. So I'll make it a go now and see just how that works out, but worst case scenario we may have to use a John Deere River Boring. Last thing, we have paid the lease of fee on it already, so we paid for this week and next week, so until the end of August, so overall it's not an end of the world type of situation, but a situation that may need all the am to use of John Deere Nat. But yeah, that, that's so versatile, that is absolutely useful. Oh no, one more bell over there on that side, so. These all the same. Yep, yep, yep. And yep. So, 200, what does this say? For, make that 291. Go, just 
walk down there. Boom, 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 boom. But anyways, that is where we're going to leave it today. So next time, we've got the rest of the bathing to do. And then also we've got to start think prepping for the field bean harvest because we got that little section by the farm along with 45, right? Yeah, so 45 all in that section there. Oh, I forgot about that. So that, that and that. Wait a minute, it's all field beans, right? If I turn that off... Yeah. Oh, she's there never feels like field beans. Oh, there is, but... Did we plant them at a different time? I wonder. Yeah, if we look at the radio section, that's still got at least one more growth state to go. However, that and that doesn't. Hmm. Also, what are these fields here? Is that canoe though? Actually, maybe we shouldn't have sold the combine. Well, just got rid of the header because we can do that. Dang it. Well, if we do another harvesting contract, we'll just borrow the equipment, but... Because, yeah, rapes... not rapes, either. Fill beans. So, we're going to be... Oh, what, yeah, what, what did I return the header? This ain't the last harvest, still got the fill beans to do. Oh, God. Why did I do that? Oh. Oh, bloody hell. Stupid idiot sandwich here. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, I said that's where I'll leave it. And yeah, we'll get at least out. It's not a big issue, it's just a pain in the ass. But as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to go down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider. But for as you do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.